Hi there and welcome to part 4 of Autodesk Factory Design Suite tutorial here at Man & Machine TV. I'm James Smith, Factory Design Specialist at Man & Machine and in today's episode we will be covering 3D layouts. Once we have completed our 2D data, we're now into the 3D environment. You'll see here, if I move around, I've got my 3D cell, my new cell area. You'll notice also I've undocked the factory assets and the factory properties. This is just a useful tip. It just means that every time you open up Inventor, they're there, they're not lost down the bottom of the page here. So, we're now into the 3D environment. You'll see here all my assets as per the 2D sketch before we sent it over and synced it with Inventor. Again, you can now move this. So, when you're in 3D, it's sometimes easier to add machines on top of each other. So, for instance, here on the riser, perhaps I want to add something a bit later, and I can see it better in 3D. If I now move this part, you'll see here, I've still got the footprint, but I can move it along. I can do both of them, so just move that around if I saw a potential clash in 3D. Now if I right click I can change the asset on here so if you remember we created two variants so I've got your double here this will now update so I've got that there and when I sync it back to AutoCAD later that will update that footprint. I'm now going to go into um, my favourites and I'm going to quickly add a few more pieces to this 3D layout so I'm going to bring in here my robot's seventh axis You'll see here, it's snapped to that center point and it's automatically resized it. So that's the intelligent part of it, um, kind of taking and allowing sizes and parametrics. I'm now going to add a quick robot to it. So again, it's got the snap features and I'm putting it through there. So this is where really 3D comes into play. So that's now added that to the 3D environment and now what I want to do is I want to update that. I can also go in and add any conveyors if I wanted but all I'm going to do now is I'm going to sync it back to AutoCAD. Prompts me to save. And you'll see it actually works its way down so it's doing all of this computing for you. And now we have our 2D updated drawing. And you can see here we've got all the robot details that perhaps you wouldn't be able to do in 2D. In next week's show I'll be covering chain assets. If you have any questions relating to today's episode, just email factory at manamachine.co.uk and I'll do my best to answer them in the next show. To keep up to date with all the latest news, follow us on Twitter at Man and Machine UK or find us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Don't forget to register for the National Factory Design Conference where you can find out about overcoming all of the latest issues affecting the sector. The event is taking place at the National Metal Forming Centre in West Bromwich on Wednesday the 26th of September. To book your free place, go to manandmachine.co.uk forward slash NFD conference. Thanks again and we look forward to seeing you next time.